One of the most common questions I'm asked is make a recommendation for an F5 style mandolin for under a thousand dollars. That has a, a, a good tone that's uh, easy to play um, and uh, three that looks good. So here I have a Breed Love uh, FF crossover uh, mandolin. It's got uh, unusual uh, stylistic differences than a Florentine mandolin, um, but um, I do like the way that the upper scroll looks. Um, and the horn at the bottom is quite smaller than usual, but I, I still think the effect is uh, quite pleasing. The F holes are also more like S holes than F holes, um, but I it doesn't really affect the tone in any way. Uh, this instrument here was one of the first uh, crossover mandolins from China, um, and um, it's very high quality. Um, Breedlove, the company that was based in uh, uh, Oregon, uh, had sent their luthiers over to look at various mandolin shops in China, and they selected one that they thought was on par with the quality that they were producing in the United States. And this is one of the first uh, models that they came out with. As you can see, it's a solid spruce top and um, two piece maple back and a solid uh, maple uh, uh, neck. Um, I like the um, shape of the headstock. It's quite, uh, quite pleasing rosewood uh, rosewood uh, fretboard um, and rosewood bridge. Um, if you know, if you like, you can um, swap out the bridge with a handmade bridge by um, uh, Bridger or uh, Brecky Bridge, but I haven't uh, had the need to do that. It's a very loud mandolin. Uh, quite a bit louder than I expected when I got it. I've been using it myself quite a lot lately um, because it has more of a mid-range tone, which is better for the styles of music that I play mostly, uh, which are Celtic and classical. Um, but it's also suitable for bluegrass um, and uh, country music. So um, now you can buy this mandolin on, um, from the Breedlove website also, a lot of uh, guitar stores carry this brand, and I think it's retailing for about six or seven hundred dollars right now. Um, it does not come with a hard shell case, so you're going to want to get one of those for yourselves. Uh, it does fit in a standard F5 uh, hard shell case, so um, that's a nice feature. If you have any questions, I'll put the links to reach me uh, in the description below and uh, or you can uh, post a comment. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified of uh, new videos when I uh, post them. Thanks very much for watching.